Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is a battle of two eyeliners from the same brand. This is the Essence Liquid Eyeliner and the Essence Liquid Eyeliner Pen. So have both of these. I thought I would test them out and use them and share my thoughts with you guys. And if you use any of these, let me know what your choice is. So let's dive into what my thoughts are on these two. This was actually given to me as a gift and I think it's like $149 US or about $2 US dollars. I purchased this for $2.99 or $2.99 at Ulta. I will definitely check and link in the description bar when I can edit. But they are around the same price range. I just think this is a tad bit more. So same price range, not same price. This one is just a regular liquid eyeliner. This one says that it is a eyeliner pen. So it has a pen tip and it's extra long lasting. I don't see waterproof, but it says smudge proof. So let's go with this one first. Um, for a precise line, color intense and extra long lasting, smudge proof. And this is what, now the packaging is pretty slim and sleek. This fits very really nice into your collection. So I have no problem with packaging or anything like that. And it snaps really well, like shut. You do get two clicks. So first click, then the second click. So then this is what the tip looks like. I was so excited when I saw this. I was like, yes. So let's watch it. You can get a pretty thin line for those of you who like very thin line. Now this worked well for like I remember the first month I was really excited using it and it worked well. But then I skipped a couple months and I just had it there and then recently I decided to pull it out and use it and it's even though it's looking really it looks black here. I'm only able to apply it on one line and when I do I cannot put on mascara if I happen to have a mascara it clumps all my lashes together and then I have to take a mascara one and go it over so I have to apply this um, on my lid first and then apply mascara but my lashes are all they clump up together because it's like you have to go so many times with it the tip is felt and it's like even though I store it upside down it just gives me a lot of trouble to do both eyes so initially when you use it it's good for like maybe a couple weeks works really great and then this goes bad I noticed that with a couple other um, inexpensive brand felt tip eyeliners that that is a common practice this on the other hand is also felt tip but it's a little bigger as you can, it's not like a pen it's not a brush but it's very, it moves. It has this, the pen is more or less dries matte or applies matte. Um, the eyeliner has like a gloss to it or a sheen to it. It does dry pretty, it doesn't dry matte. You do see a sheen, but it doesn't take too long to dry. Longer than the pen, but not really like long as the e.l.f. one takes to dry. Um, you can get a pretty precise line with this. You just have to rub off excess products on the tip there to use it. So you can get a smaller line. You can get. But you just have to be very light handed. And I have been using this for like two months. And it's going pretty well. This is waterproof. I notice that it stays on my lid for hours. 12, 13 hours. And it's still going. My preference really truly really is this one. I like, even though it is not like dries matte like this pen, I like how this applies. Um, I can put on mascara, which is generally my routine. I put on mascara first and then line my lids. I can do that with this. Um, and like, for example, this is already dry. And for smudge proof, this one does smudge a bit, even though it says it's not smudge proof. And generally once the waterproof one like the tin line it's dry already so it won't smudge I did it this one was really thick and so was this but I usually have it on my lids I will cry all kind of stuff and that just would not but so I really like this um, and it's not really stubborn to take it off the tip is really soft because it does say it has an ultra soft tip um, it's very flexible with your eyes 
and it works to me really really well i really like this i do think that this is definitely a better bang for your buck you get not so much mls four mls in this that's this one and you get one ml in this so better it's cheaper but to me better bang for your buck um you can get uh, it's waterproof, does not budge. This one, even though I say smudge proof, it does smudge. Um, I just all in all prefer this one. So if you guys have these, um, both or one, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, but for if you have teary eyes like I do, suffer mm -hmm. allergies, because I get told my allergies like over the moon right now, this definitely is my go-to and my preferred one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review.